to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the morning with Laura Stiles and Rosenberg. Ebro, Laura Rosenberg. Happy, happy Thanksgiving, man. We give thanks for y'all. Now, we got, we got some serious situations to deal with. We deal with every year at this time. Rosenberg, are you saying that you want to preempt you don't know why ish Wednesday to argue about food? Um, it was it was talked about behind the scenes about what we should do today, and I know a lot of people want white ish Wednesday, but but uh, it's the, the the idea was let's give white ish Wednesday the week off. We'll come back next week, and let's let's make the white ish Wednesday a topic, right. which is crazy ish that white people do at Thanksgiving instead. Because ain't nothing more white than mayonnaise and fruit. You dig what I'm saying? I'm stop just propagating <laughs> your <laughs> lies. <laughs> I was just saying, when you mix it up all together and it looked like a big soup, lumpy no bowl one of, does of white uh, stuff. No one does mayo fruit soup, Johnny. <laughs> all right, white, white, white people call in, <laughs> or black people that have been to white gatherings. Yeah, I think that's what I want to hear is like if you're black but your wife is white or vice versa, and you go to the white family's house and you're like, what the hell did they eat over here? Because I listen, I admit my my my. Whiteness, when especially when it comes to things like food, because I didn't grow up going to black homes for Thanksgiving. I had my family's white and Jewish. I mean, black. and and not southern at all, because you know with southern well, so, families it, it gets mixed up. White and black kind of can get similar food wise, right. but northeast white people, man, we have turkey, mm-hmm. we got our stuffing, mm-hmm. our mashed potatoes. Okay, and why do you? Cram- and, yo, cram- and why is there why? Cram- now, do they put vegetables in your stuff in Rosenberg? Because my mom, so my mom learned how to cook from my black family, but she still had some white attributes, like the tuna casserole. Or why is there celery in the stuffing? What's um, happening? Uh, stuffing what? that when when my family makes stuffing, there's certainly mushrooms in the stuffing for sure. A uh, celery, I don't know. I don't think celery, but d- there are vegetables in there though. There's definitely mushroom, and maybe some other vegetables in there. Yes. But I bought it this year from Whole Foods, so it is what it is. <laughs> and no, and my mom was notorious for putting some raisins in some. That whole joke about why the white people put the raisins in things, my mom would put raisins in some. You'd be like, why is there raisins in here? <laughs> I, I don't support that. I just want to say it's I'm a white raisins. person. I'm anti-raisin. Raisins just popping up for no reason. Uh, but I'll tell you this. When you guys say the, the thing every year that gets me mm-hmm. is when... Black folks consistently tell me, oh, potato salad at Thanksgiving. Right. My head always explodes. I'm like, what do you... Is, if I don't, I don't see If I don't see a picnic table, mm-hmm. why am I seeing the potato salad? I don't understand it. It doesn't fit at Thanksgiving what do you for mean? me at potato all. Potato salad and Thanksgiving. Go to, go to, hand in go, hand. Uh, here's the double you know whammy. Saying? It's about to happen. Go to William, Shawnee. Go to William. Ponda line. Right. Ponda line. William, talk to us. This is what we're talking about here. Raisins and potato salad? Yeah, raisins and potato salad. Where did it happen and who did it? So I went to my mother-in-law's house for a gathering. And yeah, it was raisins and a potato salad. Messed up the whole mood. I didn't want anything else for the rest of the night. (laughs) (laughs) And Now, is your mother-in-law a... uh, a Caucasian woman? She is. She is, yeah. <laughs> she couldn't help herself, huh? She just she couldn't, couldn't help, help herself. She, she couldn't, couldn't help, help herself. herself. <laughs> she sees that red sun-made box, and she cannot <laughs> contain sun herself. Sun-made. Oh, wow. God. <laughs> and she was very excited about it. I mean, she wanted everybody to taste this potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Congratulations. Jeez. You played yourself. Oh, I actually no. Yo, shout out oh. to William. But it, it does happen. So... Listen, that's the question. The lines open. If you're white and you know that white people make some oddball ish for Thanksgiving, you could call and share. Or if you're not white and you went over to a white family and you were like, when Shawnee got a a, a slathering of ambrosia slapped on his plate, and I was like, "What is this?" You I was just sitting right you know next to Shawnee too at the table. Like, we both looked at each other like, "What is this?" I'm like, "Yo, why? A- like why? Why all the mayonnaise <laughs> on my fruit?" 
And it's not mayonnaise, it's whipped cream, (laughs) which is totally different. It literally couldn't be more different than mayonnaise. You're right, you're right. It is whipped cream, but I saw mayonnaise when I looked at it. (laughs) And you've been spreading the lie ever since. (laughs) And I was like, I'm not tasting that. It's like, but even in the. (laughs) Wait, Sean, you didn't even taste it? You didn't taste it? I think I tasted it to be nice and, you know, all right, let me see. I had the whipped cream. But you were already thinking mayonnaise. It didn't matter. I I went in with the, you know what I'm saying, hesitation, like, what's what's about to happen? But even the whipped cream, it's a lot of cream. That's a lot. It's not ice cream. I'm like, this is straight right. whipped cream. It's still, it still is not that good. Let's just be honest. I've, listen, I've never had it. Um, I remember that day. My family's never made it. I've never had it served. Um, so I, I, it's not like it's common. But Shawnee just won't stop. He thinks white people are just bathing in mayonnaise <laughs> and fruit. <laughs> Facts. All Let's facts. go to Candace. We're talking about... Uh, the great Thanksgiving uh, debate, but this this year it's whitish. So Candace, what happened? Is Italian. My family's Italian, and they always want to fight about who's going to eat the ass of the turkey. What the what? ass? Yeah. What? Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. It's always like, no, like save me the ass, give me the ass. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I've never heard <laughs> this in my life. Wow. Yeah. And I'm yeah. with Rosenberg with the whole potato salad thing because I'm I've always been like what like that don't make sense but see, whatever it's, it's it is cr- what it is. You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck. Good luck getting the ass tomorrow. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> right, ass is mine, guys. Thanks, Candace. Happy Fun. Thanksgiving. Now, so the, here's gotta, the here's. A, Here's if somebody could call and explain the potato salad salad thing, we'd love to hear from you. But here's the way it was explained to me with the potato salad long time ago. Mm-hmm. Black people bring the potato salad, mac and cheese, and potato salad because mac and cheese is everywhere too. Um, it's really is because it, it whoever's preparing the meal it tells you whether or not what their level of cooking is. Like it kind of is that. Base of like, okay, if the mac and cheese and the potato salad is rocking, you can trust a, a lot of the food that you're about to have. If that makes sense. Mm, really? Okay. I never heard that. Can I, you know what I'm saying? That's, say- that's how it was explained to me by my grandmother. Was like, look, if the potato salad is rocking and the mac and cheese is rocking, the odds that there's a lot of great thing is better. So when you see those two things, it's an indicator that they know what they're doing. Mm. Can I tell you? Okay, well, um, in my experience, it's just been Thanksgiving for us. Is we bring everything we like to eat. Period. There's no rule. Yeah. So we have penil, we have beans, we have rice, we have platano maduro, all that stuff at Thanksgiving on the table. Along there with is the no, turkey, there is the no potatoes. season. Yeah, there is no season. Well, the, I, that's, just that's bring the heat. It's just potato a salad, all of that is that's all. Everything cultural. that we like to eat. It's there. It's on I, I, yeah. I have found yeah. that, you know, the, the beauty of, and you see this in New York, of course, the most because of how multicultural a city we are, like, people who are not just straight ahead white people, like people who have a, a, di- a different ethnicity of some sort, they bring that whole ethnicity to Thanksgiving plus the American foods. Right. You That's get all right. of it. Like, and even Italians, Italians do the whole, they do the whole lasagna before the meal. We do mm. lasagna too. You do yeah. lasagna? lasagna? We do lasagna. lasagna? Ziti, all yes. Of it. All of it. Fam, Wait, Shana, it is amazing. You do, you, Shana, you do lasagna and ziti? Because it's a, yeah, two types of ziti. They be having the, like, the right. uh, meatless and the turkey. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's everything. Like, it's a feast. Everything. Right. Everything that we like to eat is on that table, <laughs> Yo, fam. Ebro, everything. Ebro. There are no rules. Huh. Ebro, explain the cultural... That like how is it a New York thing of how the ziti would have made it into it's because it's rocking it's, it's right, rocking exactly if it tastes good rocking you know how to make it bring it to the table because <laughs> it's yeah. rocking and it's good it, that's what it sounds like it's rock whatever's rocking yeah bring it bring it to the table because yeah. we feasting and we giving thanks and right. it's gonna be a lot of people so bring food Pop now up. listen you this make a good my- oxtail. Bring it to the oh, table. Bring it. <laughs> my girls you make mac and cheese this year. I didn't grow up ever having mac and cheese at Thanksgiving uh, because, you know, my family was kosher growing up. So we couldn't even have – mac and cheese wasn't even an option on the table. Yeah, because wow. you can't have the milk with the meat. Didn't even have milk in the potatoes. Then when I – when uh, later on I started having mashed potatoes at other houses, I was like, oh, wait. When you add the cream to this mashed potato, it goes somewhere else. So does, so does your fart game. It goes somewhere else too. Yo, man, <laughs> it's different. It's Let's different. go, yo, yo, go to Rebecca, Shawnee Culture. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Rebecca. Hello. Good morning. Your grandmother did what? What type of violation did your grandmother pull? Yeah. 
you're, you guys are not going to like this, but someone needed to validate the experience. My grandmother used to put mayonnaise on fruit, like fruit salad. Mayonnaise on the with fruit. With raisin. Wait, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, your grandmother, wait, your grandmother would make fruit salad with mayonnaise and raisins. I swear, bless her soul, if she was here and knew I was telling a secret, she'd be very upset, but she did it. And your did gra- it. Wait, where's your grandmother from? Where's your grandmother from? Hell. Uh, my grandma grew up in Garden City, so you know. Right. <laughs> no, but we're, we're so she's old. just white. You know, we she's were just white. White. white, white. We were, we were, yeah, we are. We are pretty white. We are all the way white. See, like, it, I, I admit it. Um, she so also, what you're I telling mean, us? Um, what you're telling us is these violations are generational. Is what you're telling us. <laughs> Right. Uh, yeah, I, no, I, well, I I stop the generational trauma, and I do not <laughs> under any circumstances. <laughs> 